Rosenberg, please. We have a total of 88 employees, 66 are police officers. that are responsible in patrolling approximately 22.3 square miles in the city of Rosenberg. All right, guys, what we have is a narcotic search warrant today. So I execute is going to be on the corner of 6th Street and Avenue D. We've hit this house before. It's the same you know, we get the call, the adrenaline starts flowing, we get the mission, and it's like, let's go out and accomplish the mission. We'll do it fast, effectively, efficiently, and come back in one piece. You have to be dedicated, you have to keep yourself in shape, you have to work out, you also have to carry out your daily patrol duties, um, you know, make your contact, you know, do self-initiated stuff, and that's what it takes to be a member of the SWAT team. The Baymore on Avenue K on 65 Victor John. George we do Chris. have, a, you know, the pretty much top of the line, everything we use is is a state-of-the-art stuff like this Coban system. It's all digital. You can go back and replay it and watch it in your car. And it's got built-in GPS, uh, and we have in-car report riding. You can do everything you want to do right here on this computer. First name Rogelio, common spelling, white male. So the excitement is one thing, but the main thing is uh, helping people. And there's a lot of self-gratification. You know, you don't, you're not going to get rich doing this job, but you feel good about what you do. And I definitely wouldn't trade this for anything else. I, I really love it. Ma'am, ma'am, calm down, please. Where are y'all at? The dispatch system is the latest in technology. Uh, we also have completed the first phase of our wireless network that will give us the ability to send live images to dispatch and uh, send live images to patrol cars. This is about getting outreach into the community, letting them know that uh, it's not just about uh, law enforcement, it's about reaching out to them and, and really understanding and, and being a part of them, partnering up with them. He's coming to You know, it's not just about going out and, and driving fast and, you know, catching bad guys. It's also about helping people. We're putting care packages together so they can have some stuff during the holidays that they need. Everyday items that me and you don't realize, but they're much in need over there. I love it. <laughs> I guess, you know, trying to put a smile on somebody's face over there. Daddy, and you ride the bicycle. Oh, twin! It's a thing called Smiled on Wheels. The child is chosen through the department, whether it's the Children's Advocacy Center, Rosenberg Police Department. Then the child comes here and picks up their bike with their certificate. It's our chance as a police department to give back to the community and to be able to see a smile on a child. There's no greater gift, especially for the Christmas holidays. The Explore program is affiliated with the Boy Scouts of America and it's a perfect opportunity to explore the possibilities of becoming police officers in our community. It's just an enhancement for our department, our division. We're involved in everything from the robberies, burglaries. Uh, this is a dual purpose animal. She can track as well as apprehend and she does do the narcotic service end of it as well. Believe it or not, it's like getting hit with a, with a hammer. She, uh, she hits pretty hard. She is a, uh, a top-notch dog, and she is up to the challenge in any type of situation that arises. Take away! Vehicle assault would be sometimes if we have a narcotic uh, undercover officer, or we may have a um, confidential informant will be inside of a vehicle or a kidnapping situation. We may have to actually assault a vehicle. We'll have officers move up and distract the people with as much violent action to hopefully cause the least amount of damage. Being that we are the elite of the police officers, whenever there's an emergency or whatever happens to a police officer, a barricade subject hostage or something like that, then we go in and take care of it. SWAT team comprises of 10 members. All of them are hand selected. Uh, they go through a physical fitness assessment. They go through a shooting qualification. They also go to an oral board to make it on the team. I wake up every day, put the uniform on. It, it's self-respect. It's being able to get back to the community. Making a difference in our community, changing people's lives on a daily basis. Oh, I love it. It's a, a new experience every day. Every day that you come to work, something new. And I think that's the best part of being a police officer.